How's it going? Managed to spend a bit more time on this yesterday. I got the piston in, done and finished, as you can see. So it's got the two scraper grooves. It's not that far from the actual nose, which is good. The uh, little green band there, I thought that it was going to be a little bit larger so that it will run perfectly smooth inside the actual compression chamber here. But these, uh, the black O-rings are 30 thou bigger than they need to be, which is bigger than this chamber, so you get a good seal. So pretty much that little green ring is now null and void. Um, on the back as well, I was going to put studs in to like button it, but because it's about 6mm length I figured that they might become a bit unstable and fall off so I went for a complete ring. So again it's the amazing green plastic I love. So it's got a little lip on the inside so it just sits on it sits dead flat at the end which is quite cool. Um, before I glue this all on make everything permanent I want to give it another polish on my linishing machine just to make it real shiny. So. Uh, next up, I will also be putting in a PTFE inner liner for this, so that any spring twain will be taken out of it. So that bit's all done. So the last bit to do, pretty much, what well, this is the only bit left, is for this, the compression chamber. Now I've given it a good clean, but I think I'm going to give it another one because I like things shiny. And um, what I'm thinking is, I want this to be on buttons as well. Um, I could go down the route the same as this, but I, I don't know, I, I prefer buttons. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put one there, one there, and one at the top. That's for the back end. Now this, I've drawn on here, this is the actual area which will be shown in the gun. So you can see all the flattened out cocking and everything. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to have a button at the dead top centre, in line with the one at the back. And then, because this is going to be exposed, I'm not going to be, I can't have one anywhere there. And then on the underside, I'm going to have one here and here. Exactly the same placing as the back side. Um, that should make a nice, make for a nice sort of uh, sliding action finish. Um, also, I've been looking up stuff, as you do on the net, and I've made myself up a dueling jig. It's uh, basically, you you get your end bit and you push it down to this and it leaves those little swirls, little circular swirls. So I'm going to do get this mirrored, then I'm going to machine put the swirls on it. And then I'm thinking, because there's no metal on metal, I might even send it away, get it blackened so that it's dueling on the blackened. I don't know, we'll see how it goes because to be fair, the rest of the gun's going to need to be cleaned as well. So... There we go, that's where we're at. I'm, um, yeah, so I'm off on holiday on Sunday, so this probably isn't going to get looked at again for another couple of weeks. Um, right, I'll pick it up when I'm back. Bye.